Uh, next, uh, next subtopic is uh, organic, organic and inorganic, organic and inorganic, organic and inorganic materials. So we want to differentiate be, uh, between organic and inorganic materials. Out of uh, our knowledge, we know that organic material, we can start with organic. Organic material, they are, they are basically natural. They are natural uh, materials. They exist naturally uh, on the earth surface and for inorganic materials they are man they are man-made okay so it's like natural and man-made so organic material they are natural uh, materials they exist naturally on the earth surface and uh, inorganic material they are actually uh, man-made materials so we can list examples, examples, you can draw a table like that and differentiate. So organic material, we can have a stone and wood, wood, stone and wood. And for inorganic material, an example, we have plywood. Uh, this is wood that has been taken to the factory. And they have made plywood. And then we can have a cement. Uh -huh. This is man-made cement. We have uh, like baburi cement. We have a, a factory for making cement. We have uh, glasses. We also have glasses. We have companies that make glasses. We have paint. We can have concrete. We make concrete each and every day, a mixture of sand, uh, cement, and water, and uh, some ballast. So these are just examples of inorganic materials, which are man-made. We have plywood, cement, glass, paints, and, and many, as the list is longer. But for natural, they exist naturally on the earth's surface. So we have stone and wood. So the 